I'm Bumblebee, so now it's read aloud time. So Pete the Cat has a special treat for us today. He is going to read us this story. Take a look at the cover. What do you notice? What do you see? I see all different leaves. And are they all the same color? No, they're all different colors because in the autumn time, leaves start to change colors, right? They start to change from green to orange and yellow and red. So what season is it? It is fall and a fancy word for fall is autumn. Can you say autumn? So it is the autumn time. So Pete the Cat has a special book. This is called Pete the Cat Falling for Autumn. And that is the title of our story. So let's see what's, what it's about. It is the first day of fall and Pete the Cat is feeling blue. I like summer better, he says. In summer, I could swim and surf and play at the beach. Maybe you just need to remind yourself of all the things you love about autumn, mom suggests. Hmm, says Pete, I'll try. Do you have a favorite thing you like to do in the warm summertime? Pete finds grandma in the kitchen. She's baking delicious pumpkin pies. The whole house smells sweet and spicy. Pete loves helping grandma bake pumpkin pie, but he loves helping eat it even more. Do you like pumpkin pie? Thumbs up or thumbs down? After the baking is done, Pete picks a orange pumpkin from the counter and slipped it into his backpack as a souvenir. Next, Pete heads to the town corn maze. Pete and his friends wander through the long, twisty paths made of tall corn stalks. The best part of the corn maze is getting lost and having to start over again. As he leaves, Pete plucks a golden corn cob from the maze and places it inside his backpack. So how many things does he have in his backpack now? He has a pumpkin and a corn stalk. So how many? One, two, he has two things in his backpack now. Have you ever been to a corn maze? Then Pete visits Grandpa, who is knitting on the porch. Grandpa helps Pete use the knitting needles to knit the yarn into cool patterns. We know all about patterns, right? Take a look at his scarf. What kind of pattern do you notice? That is an AP pattern. Together, Pete and Grandpa make a long, cozy scarf for Pete to wear. When they're done, Pete chooses a little ball over his yarn and places it inside his backpack. How many things does he have in his backpack now? Can you help me count? One, two, three. Now he has three things in his backpack. Do you think it's getting heavy? Next, Pete goes to the hayride at the park. Pete, Bob, Mom, Dad, and Grandpa all pile into a wagon filled with hay. They go on a bumpy wagon ride around the park. Woohoo, Chef Pete! Do you think he's having fun? At the end of the ride, Pete grabs a handful of sweet-smelling hay from the wagon and stuffs it into his backpack. Let's count how many things he has now. One, two, three, four. Can you show me four fingers? He has four things in his backpack. Pete heads over to an apple orchard where he and Callie go apple picking. They eat sweet apple donuts and drink hot apple cider and fill their buckets with apples of all different shapes and sizes. Before he leaves, Pete chooses a round red apple and drops it into his backpack. Now he has how many things in his backpack? One, two, three, four, five. He has five things in his backpack. Next, Pete stops by the park. He plays touch football with Bob and their friends. Pete scores a touchdown and everyone cheers. Can you cheer for Pete? Woo! After the game, Pete grabs Bob's football and stuffs it into his backpack. It barely fits. Bob won't mind if I borrow this, Pete says. Oh no, what's happening to his backpack? It's getting really full. You think he could shove more stuff in there? Finally, Pete heads back home, but he stops in front of his yard, which is covered in bright leaves falling from the trees. 
Pete helps his dad rake the leaves into a big colorful mound. Then Pete runs and jumps into the big leaf piles. Can you get up and jump? After he's done jumping, Pete picks a bunch of red and gold and orange leaves and stuffs them into his backpack. The Thanksgiving guests are here. All of Pete's family and friends gather around the dining room table. They tell stories and laugh at jokes while they eat. Everyone is having a great time. Pete looks around the table and smiles. He loves having lots of things about autumn, but Pete knows that he loves most all year long. What do you think he really, really loves? Do you think he loves everything he shoved in his backpack? His family and his friends. So this is his family and his friends. The end. So these are all the different things that Pete loves to do in the season autumn. But now I have a question for you. Can you put your listening ears on? What do you love to do the most in the season autumn? What is your favorite thing to do? After you think about that, comment down below. You could send me a video or draw a picture of it. Enjoy.